Bringing Middle Earth to Marquette University. Now, you might not know this, but the school actually owns some of the prize artifacts belonging to J.R.R. Tolkien, the author behind the legendary Lord of the Ring franchise. As Fox 6 photojournalist Sam Gaudet now shows us, they are now on display. Eärendil was a mariner that tarried in Arvernian. The poem is about a character named Eärendil, who is really central to Tolkien's larger legendarium. He built a boat of Timberfeld in Nimbrathil to journey in. The character that he created was kind of building off this thing that he read about and was familiar with as a philologist. There are pieces in this exhibition that have never been uh, exhibited before or published before. You can be a fan in so many different ways. You can be deeply knowledgeable about the languages or about the line of kings and have a real investment in that and so much to chew on. And there's still so much more to learn about. Beneath the moon and under star, he wandered far from northern strands. He was a prolific writer and so there are thousands and thousands of pages of manuscripts and so not, not all of them have been seen before. And so what we're doing is we're bringing some that haven't been seen before to light for the public to enjoy. There was even more in this man's head. There was even more that he was working through and dedicated to than even the most dedicated fan could, could even imagine. All the manuscript pages are alive in the sense that, that they're there for scholarly use. What we're really doing is pulling some that have great visual interest out from the collection and then making them available in the original form here in the exhibition space so that people can enjoy them. How many authors are there that just dedicate themselves to a singular universe over the course of six decades? The winds of fear came driving him and blindly in the foam he fled. From west to east and errandless, unheralded, he homeward sped. Well, that neat exhibit opens at Marquette's Haggerty Museum of Art on Friday. It's going to run through December 12th.